Hey, Cortana. Yeah. Tell me a joke. What is the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. Hello everyone, Clinton here. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can actually set up your Cortana and use it on your system. This step is gonna actually work for those of you that will be on Windows 10 or your Windows 11. And there is something you need to take note of right here is that you can actually be doing this using your local account or your, your Microsoft account signed in. For those of you that will be using your local account, Cortana will actually ask you to sign in before you'll be able to use your Cortana. And there will be an option for you to sign in for just that app only. You should probably select that option. Um, this is just a heads up um, because I'm actually using my Microsoft account right now. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to go to your search bar and just type Microsoft Store. I have it here. Once I open that up, my Microsoft Store is just going to open up for me. And for those of you that cannot actually access your Microsoft Store or your Microsoft Store is faulty or just for one reason or the other, you can't be able to use your Microsoft Store. Check out the link in the description. I'll be dropping a link to a video that I made showing you how to get back your Microsoft Store on both Windows 11 and Windows 10. And in that video, I made a very straightforward tutorial on how to get your Microsoft Store back. I'll be dropping the link to that video in the description like I just said or you can actually uh, check on your screen the video will actually pop up somewhere on your screen. Okay so with that being said once you have your Microsoft Store you can then continue from this point. Go ahead go to the search bar here on Microsoft Store and search for the app Cortana and from here, I just go ahead and uh, choose this one that says Cortana, the app. Click on that and it's going to open up for you. In my case, I have it installed already, but I'm just trying to start from the very first process so everyone can follow up along with me. Okay, with that being said, install it. Don't open it yet. Close it. Go back to your search and this time you need to search for privacy settings. So we have that there already. Just go ahead and just click that up. And it's going to open up for us here. Then you have to go over to here that says speech. Click on that. And from here, we have to just go ahead and make sure this is turned on. You can actually start contributing your voice clip, but I won't be doing that. Once you're done there, go over to here that says microphone. And make sure this one here is actually turned on. And then you can actually go ahead and turn on your Cortana. In my case right now, I have Cortana because we have installed it. If you don't install Cortana, you won't see it among the applications that can use your microphone. Turn that on and then go over to voice act activation. Click on that. So from here, make sure this is turned on, turned on, and this should be turned on also. And then you can see voice activation will work for your Cortana. So let Cortana respond to Cortana keyword. Make sure that it's turned on. And the second option here, you can use Cortana even when your device is locked. So in my case, I'll leave that on. This is not, uh, this is optional, it's optional, but this one should be turned on. Okay, so the next thing we'll have to do right now is to close this up go back to our search bar and this time we need to search for sound sound settings so we have that here just click on it and once we have uh, we're in the sound settings this is to enable the microphone that we'll be using to interact with Cortana so whenever we say Cortana it's going to actually respond so I'm just going to go ahead now and just choose my preferred microphone and that is what I'm actually using now to record this video. And you can see it's giving a very nice feedback. You have to make sure yours is giving a good feedback. Okay, with that being said, we have to close this right now. And then go down here and just search for Cortana. Type Cortana here. And then we'll be coming to this nice window here. 
So for those of you that will be using the local account, I've said this at the very uh, beginning of this video. At this point, you need to actually sign in. Doesn't mean that you will be switching from your local account to your Microsoft. No, you're actually just signing into this app only. So go ahead and just sign in. In my case, I'll just click sign in. Okay, so I am actually signed into my Cortana right now. For those of you that are using a local account, you will, you will see an option that says um, sign in to this app only. Just go ahead and click on that option so that it doesn't sign you into the Microsoft account entirely. Okay, so now we are done. I'm just going to go ahead and just test it out by saying Cortana. Hey Cortana. Hi there. Want to know if it's high noon somewhere? Ask something like, what time is it in Deadwood? So I'm just going to go ahead and just close this Cortana uh, app. But before I, before I close it, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just close it and refresh. So I'm going to speak now saying Cortana. Hey Cortana. Okay, I'm not getting any feedback from Cortana. So what do I do right now? Pin to tax bar. Okay. Cortana. Okay, it's actually working now. So I'm just going to close this up. Okay, so currently now I have Cortana app actually closed up and I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this and try saying the keyword. I just found out that I cannot just be saying uh, the word alone. I need to say it like this. Hey, Cortana. Yeah. What's the time in London? It's 1 10 p.m. in London. Okay. Okay. Now it's responding to my prompt. You actually need to like give it the uh, exact prompt. You should know how to talk to Cortana so that it doesn't give you some kind of different response. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Hey, Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Yeah. Tell me a joke. What is the difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of this video. And if you actually enjoy this one, you can actually just go ahead, give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, I'll leave you guys for now and peace out. See you guys on the next one.